Hi and welcome once again to another lesson from LearnInTube.com and in this lesson we are going to be reviewing a very difficult song to play. It's called Neon by John Mayer. I have had a few guitarists write to me to ask what's involved with the left hand and the right and it does have some tricky maneuvers in it, that's for sure. So why don't we get started? Uh, let's break this down slowly. Okay, so you notice what's going on here is that he, uh, the finger pattern he uses is his thumb goes in a downward motion and it alternates with his index finger coming back upward, kind of in a swinging motion like this. So your first note is a thumb, then you have an index finger playing a muted note, thumb again, and index finger on the last, that last note, the eighth fret of B. So here it is. Now when you're done with those four notes, here's an important part of the move. You have to place your hand down on the strings when you're done. So that's the fifth thing uh, occurring. When you're done with the fifth move, you need to then play the last note, the tenth fret of G. So it breaks down like this. Okay, let's move on to the next chord. There's a little uh, open D string before it happens. And here's the next chord. As you can see, it's on the third fret, and your second finger's on the fourth fret of B. Uh, now, the right hand pattern, if you notice, it's the same. So let's break that down. It's thumb, index, thumb, index, hand, and then your index playing. Your index then plays the fifth fret of the D string when this chord is done. Okay, next chord looks like this. If you notice in his performances that he actually fingers these chords by putting his thumb over the top to play the bass note. But if you have smaller hands, of course you can, you can play the chords you know, without using your thumb. If you notice, your right hand's going to have the same finger pattern as before. Thumb, index, thumb, index, hand. And then you strike the third fret of the G string when you're done. So it's... Okay. The next thing you do is take the bass note from that chord and it slides up and then you strike an open D string again. Then you make this next chord pattern which looks like the one we had earlier on the third fret. Now it's the eighth and the ninth of the B, so it looks like this. Right hand does not do any muting now. We just have four notes to strike. Thumb, index, thumb, index. And then the last chord, same thing. Thumb, index, thumb, if you follow along with the PDF sheet, you'll see the exact frets you need for all four of these chords. Okay, let's uh, recap the whole thing and you can take a look at what the right hand is doing on this. So that's it. I hope it helps you out. And if you have any questions, just uh, let me know. Send me an email and I'll see you next time. So thank you very much once again for being with us. And if you have any questions, of course, you can let me know anytime. And for this lesson in particular, of course, remember to start very, very slowly and then build up from there. So uh, I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot.